What's up all my Ewok Shovels, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also as a Star Wars girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the new Star Wars content in the very, very successful rock solid Star Wars series, The High Republic. Now, if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I'm that Star Wars girl. I've been a huge, hardcore Star Wars fan all my life. And then I saw what Disney did to bastardize Star Wars. And I have been making content here on my channel ever since. So uh, when it came out, Star Wars announced their new era of Star Wars, Star Wars The High Republic. Well, I've been following the news with that and, you know, just kind of talking about it and giving my two cents as a hardcore, lifelong Star Wars fan. That resulted in me getting prima blocked I didn't even know who these people were they prima blocked me before their stuff even came out all of these authors authors uh, for the High Republic blocked me so they knew who I was before I even know who they were and they were making accusations about me claiming that I was going into their comment section and causing fights and I'm like I didn't even know who you were and I was blocked so that's just completely bullshit but they don't care about the truth they only care about pushing their narrative and their false agenda but you know that's the people that Disney hires lovely Lovely. Aren't they all about women and, you know, defending women and hashtag the force is fucking female, but they want to silence me, a woman? Huh. Funny. Isn't that funny how that goes? But anyways, today we are going to be talking about how one of their big excuses, if you criticize anything that they do, they say, well, why are you talking about it? It's for kids. It's for kids. Ray! Stop talking about it. Why are you taking it so seriously? It's for kids. Why are you making your entire channel and your platform talking about kids? It's for kids. It's for kids. Well... Remember how it's for kids, guys. I had to reiterate that many, many times because in the new Star Wars High Republic book for children, they like to talk about orgies. Fade in. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Now, here I have a tweet pulled up. Once again, guys, this is all going to be linked down below in the description of this video. Also, if you guys are not following me on Twitter. I am that Star Wars girl 77. No, 77 is not the year I was born. Uh, fake geek girls to use their terminology against them. 77 is the year Star Wars came out. I have to reiterate that because the last time I got canceled on Twitter, it was a bunch of people, uh, I should say like more like teenagers, screaming, oh my God, you're so old. You were born in 1977. I'm like, no, you dumb fucks. 77 is the year Star Wars came out. It's that Star Wars girl 77 because you have to have number and uh, a certain amount of characters in your fucking Twitter handle. Freaking troglodytes. But okay, so this is a snidbit from a Star Wars High Republic book that is for children. So <clears throat> here's my dramatic reading. Oh, you know another thing that could happen? Lando rambled, chuckling to himself like a droid orgy of some kind, but with astromechs and those old battle droids from the Clone Wars, and then they could make like astro battle droid babies. That would be something. Okay. First off, why is Lando saying like every other word? Like, <laughs> I mean, I just did it now. Now it's going to become a bad habit. Ah, This is like Valley Girl talk, which doesn't surprise me because the author, I mean, he, ugh, it, I'm just, I'm not going to even say anymore. It's just what happened to intelligent writing? Like compare this with Timothy Zahn, it, no freaking question. <laughs> which author is vastly superior but guys it, it gets worse believe me you, you would think oh you know what could get worse than a book that's geared at children talking about orgies because you know a parent is going to have to explain that to them not only that the author is laughing about it like he doesn't see the problem and it's like if you can't see the problem with pushing orgies on children then I'm sorry, you need serious psychological fucking help. I mean, come on. I don't understand what's going on in the world right now. Like the trying to normalize uh, pedos. I mean, I feel like I'm going to get in trouble no matter what I say in this video. So the whole normalization of like people that are like sexually attracted to children. I'm sorry. That is fundamentally fucking wrong. And if you like that and you want to, you know, insert that. I mean, again, there's places that can help you, but that is fundamentally fucking wrong. And I mean, it's just, it, I don't understand how they can get away with this shit. Like, this is Star Wars. Why are you 
putting that in there and trying to shove that kind of stuff to kids. And now you're talking about robots and like the robot sex. And they tried to do this in Solo, which I mean, look at how that went. I mean, it fucking failed. Solo lost money. Solo, a soy war story, lost fucking money. And that was when Bob Iger had to come out and say, oh, everyone has Star Wars fatigue. That's why the movies aren't good. Well, it's not only that, it's you have dumb motherfuckers writing for Star Wars that can't even put a sentence together without making it sound like, oh my God, like, 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 let's talk about Star Wars and let's talk about droid orgies. And oh my God, wouldn't it be like so cool? Like in what universe? Like, do we watch the same movies? Did you not understand or see Lando Calrissian? Like, he was smooth. He was cool. He was a businessman. He ran a fucking mining operation, basically ran a planet. And you... They, they've they've bastardized him so much into being a dude that fucks robots. Like, if you don't see what the problem is there, I mean, I can't fucking help you. You need to see a fucking psychiatrist that can, you know, prescribe you medication. And on top of that, it's you think it's okay to preach orgies to children. And you might say, Anna, you're overreacting a little. Well, like, no, I don't think so. Because when I was a kid and I was reading books like Pendragon or Harry Potter, they, they weren't talking about orgies. It was good versus evil. It was right and wrong. It wasn't that kind of adult sex stuff. Like, if you want to read Fifty Shades of Grey, more fucking power to you you go go do that but guess what 50 shades of gray is an adult book it's not geared at children so when you're taking a children's book and you can say oh well anna it's young adult it's like okay i've read young adult novels i just named off two uh, here we go aragon okay remember with the dragons christopher polini who was 19 when he wrote aragon and uh, remember those books they weren't talking about fucking orgies in there there was no sex in that. Like, come on. You want to say young adult novels? I've read young adult novels. I've been a fucking young adult. Right? I'm an adult now. Adult books, yes, sometimes there is sex in them. But talk, like, and even making a joke. You can say, oh, Anna, you're being, like, over dramatic." You know how, like, Adult Swim came on after kids went to bed? You know, Adult Swim is called Adult Swim. It's not Nickelodeon. It's Nick at Night. Adult Swim. Stuff like that. That's when you get the stuff. And you could be clever about it and put, you know, I insinuations in there that adults would get that kids wouldn't. Like if you ever watched the movie Ants, the Woody Allen movie, Woody Allen is a whole nother topic for another day. But when I watched Ants when I was a kid, I didn't understand some of the jokes that they made one of the jokes that i noticed now as an adult is after z the you know the main character ant that woody allen voices after him and bala escape escape the anthill then she's like oh take me back take me back and he's like fine i was going to you know include you in all my erotic fantasies but go back as a kid i didn't pick up on that you know i didn't know what the word erotic meant and heck he could have been talking about like just spicy you know but as an adult, I totally know what it means. Now, if a little kid came up to me and said, hey, Auntie Anna or Tia Anna, because I'm Portuguese, what is orgy? Like, you, you can write off, like, erotic, you can... You can say something. Oh, that's spicy. That That's a grown-up world. Erotic means, you know, X, Y, and Z. You, you can play that off. If a kid comes up to you and says, hey, what's an orgy? It's like, what other way can you describe that? <laughs> It's serious adult uh, time that involves multiple people making babies, okay? That's not something that an, a grown-up should have to explain to a child that's reading a Star Wars book that's for children. Nor is it funny, nor does it even fit the character. Like, that's another... It doesn't even fit the character. This whole obsession that these people have with sex. Like, it makes me feel like everyone at Lucasfilm just isn't getting laid. Heck, which blows my mind. It's like everyone in the entertainment industry is so hardcore obsessed with putting their weird sexual fantasies and fetishes out there into the world in comic books, in movies, in children's books. It's like, are you guys not getting laid? Like, what is going on? Because a person that is getting laid regularly that's got a healthy sex life as an adult doesn't need to insert it into everything the way that these people do. It's like they have these weird sexual fantasies and desires and they, they feel weird about it. And so they're like, okay, well, I need to normalize my sick 
you know, twisted fetishes. And the fact that they're like exploiting that to like with children. Oh my God. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is going on with Star Wars? This isn't right. This isn't normal. This is wrong on so many fucking levels. It doesn't fit in the universe. It doesn't fit with the character and it's fucking wrong. And I'm sorry, I just, I had to vent about this. I had to get it off my chest because it bothers me on so many fucking levels. So yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you're as bothered by it as me, let me know if you think that I'm off base. Let me know as well. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about this. Once again, everything I've talked about and shown in this video will be linked down below in the description of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. If you guys like this video, please smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And if you guys haven't already, maybe take a minute, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. Make sure that the bell is set to all that way you actually get notifications when I put out other videos and live streams. And until next time, everyone, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed my extremely drunk review of the movie Dune. I also have another review that's a little bit more in depth. If you guys would like to check it out, it will be linked down in the description of this video. But that drunk stream came about from me promoting my previous Indiegogo campaign. And that campaign ended. Thank you so much for all of the success. And because it was so successful, I have launched another campaign. So this campaign has been up for uh, a while now. There's only 12 days left on the first 30 day cycle. This is the cosplay calendar gamer edition. So a lot of the characters that people requested from the previous calendar, a lot of them were video game characters. So I just decided to do a whole collection of video game characters for this calendar. Now the link for this is down in the description if you guys want to go check it out and support my channel further. Also make sure if you guys haven't already to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and ring that bell for notifications. That way you guys never miss me <laughs> doing a live stream where I do uh, a live extremely drunk review of a movie but uh, anyways everyone thank you so much for watching I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day morning evening afternoon wherever you are in the world go check out my new Indiegogo campaign if you haven't already and until next time guys may the force be with you because we are really 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 going to need it bye everyone also guys, I have a Twitch channel where I play video games like Elden Ring and KOTOR, as well as an Instagram where I post photos from my recent cosplay escapades. If you guys aren't following me on either of those, go do so now. The link is in the description of this video. And just in case if you guys are interested in my art, I have an art Instagram as well where I post all of the time-lapse videos from my recent project, the I project, as well as other projects that I've worked on if you scroll down further. And if you're interested in purchasing some prints of my art or stickers or bookmarks and stuff like that, any kind of merchandise that I make based on the stuff that I paint, you guys can go over to my Etsy. It's the Art of Anna TSWG. Everything, again, that I've showed you will be linked down below in the description of this video. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.